Hey Leo, thank you so much for coming to your love reading. This should resonate sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Those of you guys that are cross-watching, sometimes you have to flip it, so just keep that in mind, okay? What, is, what has happened in the recent past for Leo and their person of interest romantically? In the recent past, okay? I get, Leo, that your person is really worried right now. I think that they're stressed out because... There's something about you where you've maybe tried to retract your energy to regain a sense of control in the relationship. And I feel like your person is stressed out because I feel like they've gone out of their way to really push your buttons, to test you, to see how far they can push you before you break. And I feel like they've pushed you to a point, Leo, where now you're very, very focused on yourself. And the more that you focused on yourself with this person, I feel like they're really, really in their head. They're in their head trying to understand the relationship. They're in their head trying to understand the significance of you. And I feel like they're in this place where maybe this situation possibly started off as something that was just a fling, right? But I feel like now you've captured a part of them that they're wanting more information on. And I feel like in the past, right? Cause this is a past energy. Um, they, they may have been seeing somebody else. So making a decision with you between you and somebody else may have been something challenging. You may have also Leo been dealing with somebody who was not really into monogamy and like the whole, I'm going to do me, you do you type of thing. Like for some reason, this is screaming to me, oh, let's just be friends and see where things go type of energy. But now I feel like with this person, they're worried and they're in their head because you, you're not giving them the attention that they wanted or the attention that they're needing, I feel like. And with this person, you may have even blocked them or said like, I'm not going to do this with you. Um, and now they're worried that you got away. And I feel like with this person, um, they thought for sure that you were stuck on them, that you weren't going anywhere. I'm slow to return because maybe, um, it's because I know you're waiting. This person knows you're, you're waiting on them. They're trying not to lose hope right now, but at the same point in time, they do know that there is a small window, um, before like things are completely over and I feel like they're feeling your energy for some reason Leo I'm getting an energy from you where it's very detached where maybe you're not you're not expressing yourself to this person you're not communicating with this person and I feel like because of that this person is is very desperate right now they need answers they want you to talk to them right they're going mad trying to understand exactly you know, what the situation is. And I feel like for you, Leo, it's almost like you have an energy of like, I'm done waiting for you. There's some type of large lesson here that I feel like is coming in where for you, it's like, okay, I learned it, right? I got it. And because you're moving differently, Leo, because I do get a sense that you're moving differently. I feel like you're very focused on your abundance. You're focused on your finances. You're focused on yourself. And I feel like with this person, you know, they're even at a point where they're so desperate that they're talking to their friends. They may even be trying to talk to your friends where they're trying to get a sense of advice with what to do with the partnership. This may even be somebody who's seeing a, um, a psychic or a therapist. Like this is somebody who's actively trying to get advice on exactly what to do with your relationship. And I feel like it's because I don't really, I'm going to be honest, Leo, I feel like this person took took you for granted and I don't think that they truly understood the significance of your situation. And I feel like with this person, it was so easy for them just to erase things and, and, and pretend like nothing happened between the two of you. But the reality is, is you've affected them in a way where it's like they can't get you out of their mind. They feel like they've lost the best thing that's ever happened to them. And they're having this epiphany of, well, damn, you know, what am I going to do? They're realizing that before, I feel like 
Leo, I'm going to keep it 100. I Before this person, before you came into this person's life, this person was very content with the way that they were moving, what they were doing, who they were seeing, and that type of thing. I feel like you saying to them, you know what? You want to have your flings. You want to sleep with multiple people. You want to be free. Go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and let you go and move on so you can do you. And now because you've done that, it's like this person is desiring you more than more than what you realize. Yeah, I get it's because you let them go. I think, Leo, you were tired of the secrets. I think that you were tired of this double life that this person was living. For you, it's like, you know, you saw a different aspect of them than who everybody else saw. And I feel like this is somebody who... Um, kept you very separate from a different part of their life, whether that's their financial part, whether that's the daytime, whether that's this is somebody who came to see you at night, whether this was a very sexual type of situation, whatever it may be, the person that you saw was somebody that was very, very different than who they are in the real world. I think that you saw a lighter aspect of this person. I think that you saw um, something about this person where you know it intrigued you where you felt like you had something to offer this person, you had something to give this person and that you and them would would merge very beautifully together. But I feel like with this person, they were living a double life. And I don't think that you really understood who this person was at a core level. You saw, I think, the potential of the person and not who they really are. I'm also getting to Leo, your person is very arrogant and I think that there were times where you would ask certain things, you know, because your intuition was saying certain things, possibly about a third party or what this person was doing when they weren't communicating to you. And I feel like with this person, they would go quiet on you. They, you know, if you asked them a question they didn't want to answer, they wouldn't say anything. And I feel like it made you angry. And I feel like not only did it make you angry because it's like, why are you doing this to me? Intuitively, you knew it, but this, because this person didn't vocalize it, I think that it made it frustrating because nothing was changing with them. I feel like that's why you had to let this person go because you're not going to force a situation. You're not going to force somebody to be with you. Either they want to be with you or they don't. And I feel like for you, the situation was one where it was really convoluted and really confusing and nothing was changing with this person. This person almost had this arrogance of, I am who I am, either you understand it or you don't. And I feel like with this person, they've definitely taken you for granted. They've, they, they've taken the situation with you for granted. Now, because you're done, they're upset because they don't want things to change between you and them. They want to continue to have the same relationship, but the problem is, is the relationship that this person was giving you, it wasn't enough. It just wasn't enough for you. And now I feel like with this person, they can't move on. They're trying to, but they're struggling. I feel like this person is, wants to beg you for one last chance, but I definitely feel like their ego is getting in the way of things. I feel like this is somebody who instead of coming to you and saying I'm sorry, it's like they would prefer to try to communicate with you in the 3D and it's kind of like, bro, like if you have something to say to me, then come say it to me, right? And I feel like with this person, you're not forcing anything with them, right? For some of you guys, you may even be back out there dating, you know, um, back on the dating scene right now, going out, having fun, planning your birthday, doing you, right? Because I feel like with this person, because you're focused on yourself and you're investing back in you, Leo, this person is like upset. They're angry. They're angry at the fact that you're walking away from them. They're angry at the fact that they're being forced to change. They're being forced to adjust or else they're going to lose you. And they feel like they, they have lost you. I get with this person too, there's some type of plan in place. Like maybe they said, okay, at this age or at this stage, this is where I'm going to, you know, separate myself or settle down. For some of you guys, they were in some type of long-term situation. And I feel like this person may be angry because they may be detaching from this third-party situation that they're ending it in order to be with you. 
that they've made the decision. And I think that because this person hasn't necessarily vocalized all of their plans, like whoever you're dealing with, Leo, they move in silence. Like this is not somebody that if they're making a move, they're not gonna say, hey, Leo, on this day, at this time, I'm planning on doing this. I filed this, I said this, I'm packing here. Like this is not somebody that's gonna do that to you. This is somebody that keeps a lot to themselves. And I think that because they keep a lot to themselves, it puts you in a place where it's like, you don't know what they're doing. You have your intuition that's saying, hey, this is what's happening. But because this person hasn't vocalized it to you, I think it's stressful. And I feel like there's a sense of anxiety. With this person, they've made up a decision right now and they don't wanna waste any more time. They feel that, you know, they really do owe you an apology for the way that they've treated you. They owe you an apology for the lying. They owe you an apology for really kind of mind fucking you. And I feel like with this person, it's like they know that they've disappointed you, but they're not sure if you're going to accept their apology. And I feel like you've changed them. Remember how up here you were angry because this person didn't change? And it's like you were having a hard time, I feel like, Leo, moving on because you really did love this person and you wanted to give this person another chance. And I also get because you're being quiet right now, Leo, and you're thinking this person is upset because you're not changing. You're not bending to what they want. You're not bending to, you know, you're not bending a knee to them. And they can't move on because I feel like they're trying to trigger you. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who's trying to trigger you to get some type of response. If you show a level of anger here, Eo, uh, Eo, Leo, if you show any type of emotion towards this person, regardless if it's positive or negative, they eat that up and it shows that you care, which is why they keep trying to trigger you. And I think that they're angry because things are not going their way anymore and now they can't move on and, and they're in this place where it's like, okay, can I have one last chance? I've made up my mind. I, I'm gonna you know, separate myself. If your person is not dealing with another person, they're trying to separate themselves from anything in their life that is stopping you and them from um, coming together and being one. Because I feel like, Leo, you don't trust this person. I feel like this person parties or they're out. They do what they want to do. And I feel like you have a lack of trust for them. What did I say earlier? I feel like this person pushes your buttons. I do think to trigger you, it's the only way that I know that you care. Because I do get that this is a situation with you and them where it was a type of love that was uh, like uh, this person couldn't understand this type of intensity, right? Secret love. I kept my love for you a secret because it's too difficult to explain. You may be dealing with somebody who was in a committed relationship. So you had to, you know, this double life, right? They had the family that was the front that was the transactional aspect. And then they had you, the person that they truly loved. But I feel like you've had enough because there was something that this person told you. There was something that this person promised you and they didn't follow through with their promise. Now you removed yourself and this person is missing you significantly because they're realizing that you're incomparable. No one is ever gonna amount to you. They're never gonna find somebody that is like you. The way that you take care of them, the way that you nurture them, the way that you understand them, the way that, that, that you really do try to put yourself in their shoes to try to understand things from their perspective. They're never going to have that again. And because of this, because of the change, how you've changed this person's perception on relationships, this person is coming back and they want to reconcile. They want a second chance at love. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to find this new love. But I do definitely get overwhelmingly this person is ready for commitment. I feel like they're ready for commitment because you've moved on from them. And now they're really regretting their actions towards you. They're regretting walking away. They're regretting pushing your buttons because now they're understanding the fact that you and them are divinely guided towards one another. Now, let me get these other cards, too, because I feel like these other cards really do share a very beautiful kind of like breakdown of things. I feel like it, it it's more of like a raw energy, but I feel like the energy is needed. If you guys haven't already, please make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. What messages do you have for Leo when it comes to their person romantically? Yeah, I think.
think that this person is really into you. I think you and them have really good chemistry. I feel like you guys vibe great with one another. There's a level of positivity here. I feel like the thing about you, Leo, which is very beautiful, is that you're somebody that doesn't like negativity. You know, you're not concerned with the haters. You're not worried with any issues. And I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they have a lot of like madness. I don't know why, but I get that there's a sense of like chaos around them. And for you, it's like, I'm not doing chaos. My life is peaceful. No chaos for me. And I feel like with this person, Forcer, this is somebody who typically gets their way. So the fact that you're dodging these attempts for this person to trigger you, right? It's really stressing them out, but it's also giving them this new found appreciation for you. Boss bitch energy, regardless if you're male or female, this is an energy of somebody that's an entrepreneur, somebody that runs their own business, that's stable, that's multifaceted, that has all of their shit together. And I think that this person feels like because you have your shit together, Leo, they can't force you to do what they want. Now the roles are reversed and I feel like you're saying to them, you know, you either come correct to me or don't come at all. You're forcing this situation where you're making them stand up. You're making them, you know, decide what they want. Because I feel like, Leo, your person is very lonely right now. And you know that, right? I feel like for a lot of you guys, you force them into this sense of loneliness. And I feel like with them, they're looking you up, they're getting screenshots on you, they're checking out your social media, they're very interested in what you're doing. And I feel like with this person, you know, um, I think that there's a lot of drama around them that you may not even know at work with their children, with a significant other, with a family member. And I feel like the fact that you're over here doing what you're doing, focused on your finances, focused on you, focused on your body, this person is worried. They don't even know what to say to you at this point because right now you're moving in a way where you're moving in silence, right? You're dodging the negativity. You're focused on you. You're not focused on this person. And I feel like with this person, they have so much chaos in their life that it's almost like you're like, I'm not dealing with this. And now this person is worried because they're sitting there like, well, fuck, Leo's not coming back. You know, they know that they're going to have to come over. They know that they're going to have to kiss your ass. They know that they're going to have to make you some type of offer. I also get here too, Leo. There may have been somebody that was doing spell work in your relationship, in your situation. There's, there's somebody here, and it is a feminine energy. It's not a masculine energy. That's very hateful and spiteful. So whether this is a sister, a mother, a cousin, a friend... Uh, ex-partner, um, a mom of some sort, a mother of a child. There's somebody here that has been doing spell work on you and this person because I feel like, um, you know, they're really triggered by the way that this person is moving because I feel like with this person, again, the one thing that keeps coming up strongly is this romantic love affair, sex fix, secret lover, fuck buddy, like, this person, I feel like, no longer wants to deal with this other energy. Because I feel like they're, they're very much hooked on you. But as much as you, your person is hooked on you, this spiritual hater is hooked on your person. I do get overwhelmingly, Leo, you do have some type of offer that's coming in here. Because I feel like your person is, is obsessing right now. They don't know what to do. They don't know what action to take. Um, they may be getting readings on you or some type of, you know, spiritual guidance. For some of them, they may be doing spell work, but I feel like they're just trying to understand your perspective. I also get to Leo, your person is really upset. I think that you've triggered them emotionally in a way that they're not used to. And now all this person can do is kind of sit on the sidelines and stalk and watch. And I feel like they're really in this place where um, they feel like they've lost their opportunity with you, that you've moved on, that you no longer want anything to do with them. Let's see things from their perspective, how they view your relationship. 
because I am curious about this. And then just to let you guys know, there will be an extended at the end of the video, which is available on Vimeo, Vimeo or Patreon. The link will be in the description or comment section. Um, how does this person view? Whoa, this person, see, I feel like they view you as walking away from them. They, they, they view themselves as not enough. They're in their head about this connection. I also feel like Leo though too, if you want me to be honest, with this person, I feel like you took on more of like um, a, ma um, a maternal role with this person. Like I feel like whoever you're dealing with, like they needed a level of like nurturing. And I feel like you really did try to nurture this person and show this person what they were missing. How do they view themselves in the situation? Okay, the hangman. So confused. They feel stuck. They feel stuck in their, their situation. There's also a sense of martyring energy, like, woe is me, you know, I can't do this. There's always a reason why they can't do something and not a reason why they can. And I feel like you're dealing with somebody who tends to be relatively negative, which is crazy to me because I feel like with Leo, Leo's energy is so light and bright, but you guys have the ability to deal with much darker energies, right? Like, you guys have a level of depth with inside of you where you can take on a Scorpio. You can take on, you know, um, an Aquarius. You, 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 you can take on, granted these are fixed energies, but you, you, you can take on these heavier energies and transform it into something light where I feel like somebody like a Gemini, they struggle with heavier energies. They struggle with with somebody that's down and depressed, but Leo, because you're the sun, you have a way of brightening things up. And I feel like with this person, they're understanding that, but I do get that, that they do have a heavier energy here. How do they view Leo in, in, in their situation romantically right now? How do they view Leo's role romantically right now? Temperance. They know that you have one foot out the door, okay? They know that you're in a place of healing, that you're in a place of transformation, you're changing. This person sees that you're changing. They feel that you're healing. They feel that you have a lot of op um, options right now. And I feel like they're worried. What, what is blocking, what does this person feel is blocking them from truly committing to Leo correctly? Page of Cups, it can be a child, but it also can be the fact that there's a level of immaturity. Maybe this person is younger um, and maybe this person has a hard time with their emotions, expressing their emotions, but we'll, we'll get into that. What is this person thinking about strongly when it comes to Leo? The Ten of Wands. What happens when you walk away? When you walk away, you leave a fire behind you. And I feel like with this person, they're stressed because there is a sacrifice they have to make in order for things to work with you. What is this person's next actions towards Leo romantically? King of Swords, this person wants to tell you the truth. They have something that they want to say to you. And I'm going to be honest, the Three of Swords with the Two of Cups, it's going to be pertaining to how now they feel this, this sense of pain because you've walked away. Because you're happy and now all they can think about is you. What is their intentions with Leo romantically? What is this person's intentions with Leo romantically? Wow, Leo, the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, this person doesn't want to let you go. This person wants a long-term commitment with you, but I do feel like there's a lot of things that this person has to let go of in order for things to truly work. What's the best potential outcome here over these next couple of uh, weeks for Leo? in this person the world all right so leo there is going to be communication coming in here out of nowhere that is going to change things there's a karmic cycle that's ending so in the extended we're going to clarify all of these and go in more in depth we're also going to pull additional oracle messages to try to give us a um, a brief overview of what exactly your person is going through because if we can think like them then we can understand and have a level of empathy or move on right so with that being said, Leo, happy birthday season. I love you guys so much. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.